I do. Uh, I got some garter snakes, you know, blue racers or whatever, the little ones in your garden or yard. Uh, they are actually a unique hazard to the kind of work that I do and the kind of work that my company does. Uh, we do a lot of serving. And when you're climbing around there in the mountains, especially in uh, southwestern Oklahoma, there's some rattlesnakes. There's some, uh, I've never actually seen a copperhead. I've never seen some water moccasins uh, doing surveys of creeks and stuff like that. Um, so you have to be really careful. They find you through vibration. So they always tell you to walk softly when you're out there, not jump around a lot or jump down into, like the worst thing to do would be like jump down into a, like a creek or a structure that you're trying to inspect, jump down into the middle of it, and that's when they find you the easiest. And that's mainly where they are. Definitely don't want to fall into a rattlesnake in the mountains. Never seen that happen, hopefully never do. Um, the main thing that we have all been taught where I work or I teach through my company, um, don't tourniquet the wound if, if you do get bit. Uh, if it gets bit in the boot area, don't take your boot off, that kind of stuff. Uh, the reason for the tourniquet thing is, is when you actually stop the blood flow and the poison from getting through your body, whenever they actually do take it off, it'll basically titrate through your blood a lot quicker, but almost instantly. So don't do that. Basically the best thing to do is to control your breathing, faster your heart beats, the faster it gets throughout your system, and get to the nearest hospital. So on every job that we do, a lot of them are kind of out in the middle of nowhere. They're on state highways that are, you know, in, in equally Oklahoma is where one of the jobs I'm working at. I don't know if anyone knows where that's at, but I didn't until we started working. Uh, the closest hospital is 15 miles away. So you should always know where the closest hospital is. It's actually a good idea, too, to know if that hospital has antivenom. Like the one in Carnegie is actually closer than the one in Cordell. Carnegie, Carnegie doesn't treat snake bites. So it's a good idea to always know where that's at. Uh, and like I said, the best way to avoid it, walk softly, know your surroundings, watch where you're walking, just pay attention to what you're doing.